morning hello and welcome to my daily blog of life on a beef and arable farm um those of you that know we've got big mick here today let's find out what he's got to say <laughs> he's a character and he's on the straw blower the john deere So I say now, if you can't fix the mountain more, I'd fix the weather to what they call it. Horse to water? You know. Is that, is that what you mean? You can't pass it to drink? No, if you can't fix the mountain to Muhammad, you got to take my water to the mountain. And that's what I'm doing, I'm fixing my chair. <laughs> my, what's happened? It broke, didn't it, again? It's because of screw oil. Screw Did you leave it out for cows to smoke? No, 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 no. When I sat down, because screw had gone before, it was a bit shabby. So, so you got a screw in, huh? in your seat? I've drilled a lot of business. <laughs> we'll check out his um, repair job on the seat in a minute. But um, we better jump on the TM320S and get some feeding done. Andy's strode all these guys up in here and I'm just going along feeding them. Looking at it. Andy and Emma down here just strawing up. Everyday thing, every single morning we're strawing little and often, little and often. So I'm on filling the mixer now with molasses. We just weigh it in with the weigh clock over there. Now I'm just putting the barley in. So we'll keep pouring this in, we'll let it mix for a little bit and then we'll tip it all out there. Just get the rest of the cattle fed then. We'll keep back and forward until I've got it all out. Then I'm just on the 7530B taking it back up the yard now. Listen to this. Oh yeah. It's coffee time. Those who watch the videos, who's this for? So Em's on just doing a mix at her mill. She's filling the mill. Andy was just been cleaning his tractor off. But uh, we're just gonna have a coffee now. Wait, Mick! Go on then, Mick, explain to everyone why you've got your GXO hat on today. Yeah, tell you. Whitby's been cancelled. What? I know. Do you know about this? I just went out last night myself. Are you going up in car then? Yeah. I'm devastated. Coming that farm then? Are you? I mean, with Julian. Ah, yeah. Oh, so you're not going drinking, man, Whitby. What a disappointment. Well, I'm good to. Oh, well. Dennis, you can't believe it. There'll be another time. I want to book one for February. One in February, one in March. He goes on all Foggy's coach trips. Or booze trips, is it? Are you? 59? You what? And what did Mick say? You got more coming, mate. You were, weren't you? I'm so weird. What? Oh! Did you see my picture that I sent you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not a picture like probably maybe what you're thinking, um, oh, yeah. especially in like Big Mick's mind. But um, it's uh, the Big Mick's, Mick hats coming soon. It's happy. So me and Andy just come round here to, um, to look at the the power. Keeping Covered it, it in it, Andy. Keeping it warm and protecting the paint. Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we are on now mucking this pen out because we need to get to the drain that we think has collapsed under the shed. Um, and yeah, because it's starting to flood this pen out. There's loads of bits of high ground, there's not many cattle in it. Like up at this end of the shed, it's all dry and fine. There's plenty of high ground. But then you get to here where it's been flooding out from behind the wall. And what a mess. So that rain last night so we need to get this out get it all mucked out 
dig down to the drain, see what we can find down there, hopefully put it back together. Fingers crossed we can sort it. So we've done some digging to find the pipe. Is that the pipe? That's a joiner there. That's what we're going to have to scrap that off the top, mate. So everything's flowing from there to there, so it's here down, it's locked down there. Mick's using rods right now. Go on, Mick. Uh, do you like it? Go on, yeah. <laughs> in. Oh, we've got bubbles. Yeah, go on, keep going. Keep going. Yeah. Can Faster. You get, can you get another one on? Yeah, I can get another one on. Yeah, a bit more length then. So we're trying again in here. We're digging a little bit further. I wanted to fetch the dig around, but my dad said no. So we're really battling to try and get through this brick rubble. So me and Andy are in all now with three sets of rods in here. This must be one of them that got lost. Oh, there weren't, there weren't many, I only lost one or two. That's four. And then that one's, that one's pretty solid, that one, Andy. You got it? No. Oh! Oh! This is good as well, but thing on end. There we go. Oh, it's what? Gone down. Is it? Gone down. I mean, that one we're on, so that, that was stuck. Is that okay? It is four. running. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was stuck four more rods down. Yeah, go on, go back. What's he doing? Take, take it back. Oh. Come, take, take him out of the hole. Yeah! Andy's got his hand down here. Hey up, hey up, Andy. <laughs> That's straw blower man, that you know. Nothing to do with the pile of straw there. No. Do you like shoving your. Uh, you rubbed that all light. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Now that I've got shit fingers. Yeah. <laughs> Used to shit fingers. <laughs> well, at least it's done now, Scotland. Happy days. Got rods back. Dilly dilly. Got, yeah, got rods back for once. Uh, but now we've got to like build a bit of a... Because the cattle need to be in this pen, we're going to have to build some bricks around the edge. Put a big piece of concrete panel or sheet of metal or something. Fill the hole back in. Then we're going to have to come back to this when we've got space. Empty this pen. Yeah? Dig the pipe out, start again. You've done a good job. You are? Oh, is that? What day? No, Andy, we're going to say something. His chicken did, his bottle did, Mick. He's from down that neck of didn't he? That's why. <laughs> Not like us northerners. Right, what um, are we doing? Making a little. Yeah, we don't have bridge. to go, you don't have to like, yeah, a bridge basically, so we're not putting pressure on pipe. Yeah. You don't have to dig that bit out. You don't want to put stones either side. Yeah, yeah, either side. I just think side, as long as to put the stones Alright. Are you going to do it to do it, like you said? I'm not sure if what Emma's fetched us and it will be strong enough. No, I'm not sure. Strong enough? Of course it will. <laughs> you can hold my weight and load that. Michael. Easy. Michael. Sarcasm. Oh, yeah. Take care. Boom. Ah! Take yep, that's it. Yeah. You have to brick it round both sides though. Make sure it bricks are right. Hillbilly, hillbilly fashion. People are gonna have something to say about this, I'm sure. Oh well. You doing what? I was just saying it's nice to be here this morning. <laughs> He was not saying that. 
He was not. He was talking about somebody we all know very well. Yeah, you were. You what? Are you two falling out? Yeah. Why? He fell out with me. I said, I should have blown up and she won't. Yeah, I should have rubbed your belly. <laughs> that way it rubbed his belly, weren't it, mate? That's what. Yeah. It's the same, isn't it? But then when we went to the house, Mick, it changed to rub your back. Oh, come on. In front of my mum. We both chuffing, grown up. <laughs> yeah, let's shut that door. Hey, we're on a professional side. Got that fine figure of a man. You're only having one bacon sandwich, aren't you? If I have to. Listen, it was on a professional side. What, what? Me and them, rubbing, blowing off. <laughs> professional. Yeah, 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 yeah. Andy. Andy's off. Bye, Andy. Goodbye. Hold back. Right, it's time to get on the JCB and feel the hurling. I told you, didn't I, what he'd be like, Andy? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's blurry. Wait, we're focused. Yeah. Go on. I'm telling you, didn't I, Andy? He started. He's going to get grounded and barred off a farm, I'm telling you. Why are you t talking about it's only third person? Hey? What are you on about? You're getting barred off farm, aren't you? You are. Oh, I am. You can't Why? me off a sight. I've been here longer than you. <laughs> Come on, you're stopping me from doing my job. Yeah, well, I'm going there anyway. Oh, what? You've had your, you've had your, your bacon sand here. You're off. Grandkids, aren't I? Eh? Classic. Yeah. Right, all right. Well, Ratchet, hopefully, like by next week, you might have your own merchandise. Yeah. We're at it tomorrow. Are you? Oh, nice. Yeah, I'll see you, see you later then. Bye. Em um, just got back in the yard. Um, we're just still doing some mucking out of that pen to get the wet stuff out um, while I'm filling the mill up in between. Jumping on the TM and mucking out. I'm here, there, and everywhere. Em's off with another load now. I'm just shutting the mill off because I think we've got a bung on or something. It's not running very fast. So usually it takes like 12 minutes or something to run all the stuff out. And it's been taking like 25, so yeah, yeah, we've got something in there. Right at that end, some grown barley, locking it up. Em's just filling the mill up with a nine metre. And then, um, oh, it's getting full up. Oh, she's spilling it. You're not supposed to do that, Em. Not on camera. And then she'll be jumping on this 130 and taking this load of muck down to the concrete pad. Oh, um, so I said to Em, drop the bucket off so I can have it on either machine because we're very busy. So, which is great, she's done that, she's done that. But then she's parked the machine in front of the pusher that I need to use next. So I'm going to have to jump on that machine anyway. Oh! Oh, <laughs> uh, oh well. Em's taking a load now with the big trailer and the 210. While I just get some of these wet bales, we'll put them in the bottom of the pen. Um, they were just mucked out. Just try and give a bit of a base layer. Today, just what I'm doing, it's like, get in one machine, use it, jump into another, use that one. It's like boom, 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 boom. It's not stopping for me today. Um, I don't know if that's reflecting in, uh, usually on a Saturday video, like get my tripod out and uh, Oh, I'll be drew on or something like that, it's got a bit more time, but not today, not with that shed being full of water and having to be mucked out, so. Um, I just started goes in farming, like, things don't always go to plan, there's always something there to test you. You've just got to sort the job and um, keep things moving. So, Em's just down there undoing the gates for them cattle. I'm just smashing this uh, bit of wet straw about. So we've got somewhere nice to just lie. So the barriers have come down. M's just going to turn the mill off because that's running empty. And uh, we'll get some cows fed. As long as I don't crash into the lorry. We're alright, we're alright, we've done it, we've sorted. 
I think that M's been splattering a car and she's been going past with loads of muck. Poor M. <laughs> They're all a bit giddy now that they've had their, uh, the pen cleaned out. Just left some high ground at the back there, just in case this happens again. You know, because we've fixed it so well. So, M's probably. Oh, sorry, I've not let pressure off. I saw that look of disappointment then. Pure look of disappointment. Um, yeah, M's going to um, back the mill into the shed. She's going to start another mix, and we're going to get these cows fed now. Feeding these guys out now. So, my bucket is empty. So I have to come back and uh, top these guys up. That's better, full bucket. As M's filling the mixer, I'm gonna get on with mixer mentions. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So it's a massive happy birthday to Fred Forrester, and that's from Amy. It's one today. One. We have to look back at this and say, wow, that's what happened when I was one. Uh, Judd Burrell, you're nine. That's absolute business. And that's from your Uncle Dicky and Paula. So thanks guys for donating to Air Ambulance, saving people's lives. Link in the description below if you want to get involved. Business. And we're getting attacked by the cows then. <laughs> Not attacked, but like, keep eating her overalls. Um, and I'm just feeding out. It's getting darker and darker now. The day's dragging on. So I'm just getting the mix done before we finish tonight, because Sundays is just me and my dad usually, although mix as he might come. So we'll just try and get things prepared. So we've got those things in the shed. I'll just get this. Off now. And, um, I've just got this barley to tidy in because it gets all wet and mucky if we leave it. It is wet already, she says. So everything's put nicely away in the shed. Oh, M, that's what I forgot to tell people. What's missing on the TM? Did you not know? M, M, M. Yeah, actually, I made it look better. <laughs> Can I show you something? Go on then. Oh, is this. Hang on. So, M destroyed the sticker on the side of the boom. Let's go and show folks. So, this side of the boom, ba -ba -ba boom. Other side of the boom, no sticker here, gone. Also, no mirrors because we take them off when they're new. Because when we're turning in places, we end up smashing them off. So, we just take them off. And then also, when Ash wrapped it around the um, post, we lost the ad blue cap. Well, we didn't lose the ad blue cap, but it, further from it, somebody's lost it afterwards. So it's now got a real hillbilly style tie wrapped on spray can lid. Mm. Mm. And we had another ad blue cap go missing. What happened there, Emily? Andy ran it over. Somebody filled it up the day before, supposedly. I've heard off a little... Uh, Andy. A little... Um, Andy. Andy, was it? Was it Andy? Andy's the one that told you. <laughs> What's that? I thought you'd appreciate it. No sticker than a rip sticker. It looks oh, yeah, like yeah, yeah. It'd look, yeah. It'd look a mess. I wonder... Like destroyed. I wonder if JCB will send us another sticker. I wonder if that's like a warranty thing. I don't know because it was down to us, not them. Well, it was, yeah. You blast, yeah, but it shouldn't blast off, should it, with a pressure washer? Not really, no. I won't even close, I'll, just, I'll like, I'll blast it like down here. I'll like, unless I'm, you know, beep. I just ripped it off. Oh well, oh well, oh well. Maybe they'll send us another just to be on brand so that they're still in the video. Um, what do you reckon? Do you think they will? Let us know in the comments below. Anyway, me and Emma go in because it's gone five o'clock. And um, yeah, if you've liked the video, remember to press the like button. Subscribe if you're not already. Anybody wanting the merchandise, Joe Seals hats, remember there's 20% off the G-Lays, but it's got ending. It's ending them oh tomorrow. So tomorrow's the last day. So get yourself in there. Business. Thanks, guys. Bye. No, Em. Em just asked me a question. How come I've put them on sale? Because they're on a pre-order. So basically, like, I'm going to order them on Monday. So I've, it means that I don't have to lay the money out. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So then, so I thought, well, I'll just knock a few 
like 20% off for people because it's helping me out, helping you out. Business? Huh? I like it. See ya.